Peter Diakowski has some pretty impressive stats. He's six foot five, 300 plus pounds, a left guard on the offensive line with the Hamilton Ticats. My job is pushing and shoving. I'm a human bulldozer, battering ram, if you will. But the most remarkable statistic is the one the pro football player promised his dad never to share. Even now, all these years later, as a grown man. Well, I'm good at keeping my word. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I, I'd rather not focus on that just because it's, it, it is just one number. That one number is his IQ. It's only one measure of intelligence. Peter won't give specifics, but he has made it into the high IQ society of Mensa. I play on a football team and there's that stereotype of the dumb jock. We have guys that I've played with on our football team who are legitimate geniuses. They're conducting thousands of calculations a second. I, I joke it's like analog calculus about how people and objects move and they're able to react split seconds and that's genius level thinking but it's not evaluated on an IQ test. School always came easy to Peter, football did not. I tried it, it wasn't for me. I saw the field maybe two or three times. You know, if we had a big lead, I'd actually be hiding behind <laughs> other guys on the sideline so the coach wouldn't see me and put me in the game. And then Peter grew. In about five months, I grew to almost 6'4", 275 pounds. So I gained a pound every three days. And then football was a lot more fun. And for the first time in Peter's life, he actually had to work hard at something, really hard. It was the first time I'd actually put 100% of myself into something. A scholarship to a U.S. university picked up by the Thai Cats. Peter was at the peak of his physical prowess during last year's Grey Cup game until this. He had an issue with that right knee. Wearing a knee brace on it, that's immediately where he grabbed. Don't think I've ever been more embarrassed in my life. Personally and ashamed is when I was being hauled off the field on the Kubota cart. I don't think I've ever felt more embarrassed than when I couldn't walk off the field. A serious knee injury that he is still recovering from four months later. During this off-season, Peter is not only getting his body back in top shape, but he's getting his brain in fighting form as well. Already named Canada's smartest person in a game show two years ago, Peter is now taking his IQ to a top U.S. game show. This is Jeopardy! Which of Jupiter's moons is the most volcanically active body in the solar system? Io. Io, you got it. What vitamin is mostly required for blood coagulation? Vitamin K. Vitamin K, you're right. Unfortunately, I know all about that. <laughs> Selected from hundreds of thousands of applicants, Peter will strut his brain power in June. I'm certainly studying. I have a couple of reference books. I've got my Trivial Pursuit card. While Pete works out his brain and his brawn, he recognizes that both pursuits might not go so well together. Here you are, putting that, that beautiful brain of yours in the midst of, of danger every time you're out on the field. I've certainly experienced tens of thousands of subconcussive impacts over the years, but I have become better about not necessarily always leading with my head. That's good advice. Big guy with a big brain. <laughs> what happens after football, though? What does he want to do eventually with his life? Has he mentioned that? Well, he's got a couple of projects. He's a bit of an entrepreneur. He does have an Oxford uh, tutoring uh, clinic mm -hmm. in, in Hamilton. And he does say that he does. He feels pressure to use his brain because it is so big and so rich to use it. He's not quite sure, but he might be going back to school. It intimidates probably the fellow players who realize what a brainiac he is, you know? He I says mean, those, aside from his size and power. Yeah, he says those guys are just as smart, just smart in different ways, which is okay. really sweet. He's very, he's incredibly modest. Mm. I think he dumbed down for me a little bit, but he is an incredibly modest, sweet guy. Uh, if you have any story ideas, you can reach out to me on Twitter. I am at City Avery. And as you know, the inside story runs every Tuesday and Thursday on City News. All segments are up on our website, citynews.ca.